I got a question recently about what to do if you are in a highly competitive niche, something that's maybe saturated, maybe something where you're just not sure if it's really, really competitive. So number one, it's okay. There, there are niches like that. And the person that asked the question didn't give me much background about why they were approaching it. Maybe, right, there's probably two main reasons. One, either they identified it as something that could be really profitable, or two, and I hope this is it, that they are passionate or very interested in the topic. So it is fine. If you find a niche that's really competitive, but you are into it, that's cool. And I'll, I'll give a couple of examples and I'll kind of let you know what to expect. So no matter what you're working on, you probably should be producing high quality content. You probably should be focusing on not using AI writers, number one. You should also look at, you know, just putting out content that people in the community would want to consume. Super important. If you're just creating something that you think people will like because it's profitable, then you could be in a situation where you're creating garbage that no one's actually interested in. So what should you expect? Number one, it's probably going to take you longer than you think it will. However long you think it's going to take, maybe double it or triple it. It's probably going to take a lot more effort as well. And this is where being passionate really helps. If you're interested in the topic, it's something that you're going to be able to put in more time. If it's something where you're part of the community, then you're actually interested in it. You may actually have friends that are in the community that are creators already as well. So if you have those couple things in mind, you're going to be a little bit better off because your expectations are going to match up with reality a little bit more. If you're in a big hurry, I don't recommend that you go after something highly competitive. So if you have a much longer timeline, and this is a theme I've been trying to talk about more, if you think about four or six years instead of four or six months, you can make much better decisions. You can do things a little bit slower. You don't have to get into a hurry. If you are unable to hire several writers to produce a ton of content in a short amount of time, that's okay because you're looking at four to six years, not four to six months. So you can just make better decisions and not get in a hurry. It's really uh, tempting to try to take shortcuts or do things a little bit faster, but usually that leads to uh, poor results in the long run. And basically you're kind of doing a shitty job, which you know, nobody wants to do that. So overall, if you are looking at a competitive niche, that's okay. If you are looking at something that is just competitive and it's purely interesting because you think it's profitable, that might be something to stay away from. The one caveat is potentially if you have a huge amount of capital, if you have uh, expertise in you know, starting a team and growing a team, you may have a way to short sort of like, not shortcut, but you may be able to get over the hump a little bit faster. So if you have a shitload of money, you may be in, in really good shape, but if you are looking at something that's really profitable and you see competitors out there already, there's a, really good chance that those people are making a lot of money and they've been doing it for a little while and they're able to reinvest and potentially outspend you. So there might be some situations where you have a new angle at something where you can pivot some idea from outside the industry into a place where they haven't seen it in that competitive landscape. And that could work. You may be able to do that. But that's unusual. It's very unusual to see that work out. So just be patient. And if you're aiming for something really competitive, I recommend that you be passionate about it. Otherwise, you're going to lose interest in a few months and you're going to think, oh shit, that, that was actually way too hard. That's just what I think, but I'm curious. What do you think? Leave me some uh, notes in the comments below and let me know what you think.